um, autumn. These two here uh, were the ones that we were working on last week uh, that we gave the budget rise um, and they've just kind of blown out, just uh, sort of gone from around that. <clears throat> two last six, seven. What's that, sorry? Two last seven days. Yeah. Um, there we go. It looks like the costs are decreasing a bit. What was it originally? Uh, we were getting them around six dollars last week, and then um, yeah, they just okay. stopped. Just pretty much stopped getting sales uh, as soon as. Expand the campaign and look. What's sure. going on in there? Um, okay. Let's see here. Do I have a control? Yeah, I do, I believe. Yep. All right. So 19, and that's what that one add. Okay, gotcha. And let's see here. 21 with this one audience. Got it. And then 20 with 22, okay. You said the week prior to this was doing? Uh, yeah, it was doing good. Yeah, that's uh, when we see 870 and uh, yeah. And then it, boom, you know. And then it's just skyrocketed and start, sales have just stopped. Bang. Interesting. Gotcha. Okay. I see. Yeah. So, I mean, like, we'll have to be careful on what decisions we choose to make since right now, all of these are going to the same ad, I believe. Yeah. So, you might want to test some more ad variations that are new right. and different to those that you currently have. What do you want your cost to be at the five dollar range again? Oh yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, I'd test some more variations similar to those ads you currently have. To the ads I currently have. Yeah, like these. Like try some more different images and content of these ads because right. they were working. It's just that they're not working anymore. So you need to test new variations of them. Uh, so with, with that there, um, I'll, I'll get those built out today. Um, and with with that there, we took them from ten to twenty dollars. Should I have maybe looked at maybe a, like a ten or fifteen percent slow scale on them rather than flipping them from ten to twenty because that kind of just killed it. Yeah, it looks like so. Yeah, you could do that. Scale it up a little bit slower. You could also switch this to a CBO, which will probably help. You have three different campaigns. Like you could put all these underneath one campaign, honestly. Right. And then do a CBO with these three different ad um, Can we sets. do that? Yeah. yeah, so like what you do is you just hit create. And it's pretty easy. Uh, you're going for purchase conversions, correct? Yeah. And then we'll adjust this later. Sure. 
continue and then we'll just hit switch to quick creation and then all we're going to do is hit leave leave this page and then we just want to save it as draft we need to make sure you select conversions though Oh, thanks for sorting that payment thing out too that all got done yeah no worries and then we'll just hit save to draft yeah and then what we'll do is we'll just delete this because we don't yeah. want this one right yeah because we're not going to use this audience And essentially, well, all we're going to do is we're just going to take the ones that are working right now. We can scroll over a little bit. So we'll take this one. We'll take this one. And I believe there's a third one somewhere. Yeah, that one there. Yeah. And then just press Control C. It'll copy those three. And then all you're going to do is just press. Control V, we'll paste them all in there pretty simply. That way you have it all underneath one. And this will consolidate it. This is a better like structure for the ad account, especially with the audiences. See how it's all rolled up underneath one campaign now? And it'll be a CBO, I'll have the three. And then the only difference we're gonna do underneath this is just get rid of all this extra you know, stuff we have in here, which we'll just select all. Close this out, we don't wanna see that. And then we're just going to deselect all the ones that are active. Yeah. With the blue ones. Oops. If you want to just deselect those blues real quick, just go through and deselect all the blues. Yeah. Yep, that's the bottom. Then just hit edit, and then we'll hit delete. We don't need those. So delete. And then now you only have the ads that were working underneath the three audiences that were working, underneath one campaign, all consolidated underneath one. And just to keep it all organized, you can hit select. Oh, we don't want to do all those. We just want to do these three. Select these three and then find and replace. And then just all you got to do here is type just to keep it all organized dash copy. Yeah. And then you just hit save to draft and it removes that out of there. And then you just hit review and publish. But before we do that, we also want to edit your budget because it wasn't 100 daily. So, what would you look at those three? Uh, you could do. Well, 18 you had here, you had 10 there. Oh wait, those are all new. So you had 18 here, then you had 18 here, and then you had 20, yeah, so. They were at 20, but when the cost started uh, blasting up, I thought if I pulled a couple of couple of dollars back off them, hopefully it'll try and level itself yeah. back out again. So you could start at 30, so 10 each. But it's going to automatically move the budget where it's most important. So that'll help. And then all you got to do is just add in another variation or two in these. So what I do is I just take this one you have here. Yeah. And then add that one into both these. So you just control, C, control V for that, do you? Yep. That's You'll awesome. add those in. Yeah, and then just take this one. Does that stack over social proof as well? It does. Oh, right.
And then that way you have it all organized. They're all exactly have the same thing. And then the campaign will know how to optimize based off those different ads because it's dealing with a very fluid structure that it understands. Very organized, you see? Yeah. And then now that that's done, you just publish that one. But before we publish that one, what we'll do is it looks like it was this one that had the purchases. So like you could turn publish that one and then turn those three off that we just ended up putting in here. Right, so kill all those three and then start testing more ad creatives. Right, like this one's done. You turn that one off. This one is done, so you turn this one off because you just put them all in here. Yeah. And that's it. Right. Beautiful. You might want to turn uh, one, that one off too. One other question for you. Um, I set up that same ad structure on this account. Um, and uh, there's five audiences. Obviously, I put an open one in there as well. Um, but every day, I just keep getting this account overview thing about combining audiences inside of it. So uh, the population of, of where I'm advertising this is uh, 18 million, so I thought that the uh, audiences would have been, um, you know, they were a million, a million, a million, and then um, the 18 million for the open, but it's just forever telling me about combining them, so. Um, Let's see where they are. Uh, just hit the table there. Oh, yeah, there you go, that works. I mean, it doesn't look like there's anything to combine. You only have two audiences running. Yeah, well, because it's been non-stop doing it, I've turned these ones off. Yeah, flip it to CBO. All right. Same budget. Mm-hmm. It'll recommend the $20 because you have two at 10. So just publish it at that. Right. Excellent. Well, that solved that problem easily, didn't it? Yeah. Thanks for that, Chase. Yeah, no problem.